good morning, guys. Hey, I got a special treat for you today. Have you ever wondered what happens inside a four-speed when you shift? I mean, we all understand that they change gears, but do you actually know how it happens? Let's go check it out. What has happened? Oh. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Ooh. Who invited this person? Oh, really guys? Ugh. All right, well, I'm gonna need a minute to clean this up. Sorry. So this is what the inside of a Chrysler heavy duty four speed looks like. You can see your shift forks here. Those are driven by the shifting mechanisms on the side of the case through the shift linkage. We don't need these in place for this demonstration. You can see why they call it a shift fork. First of all, you'll notice you got a counter shaft in the bottom. All your gears are in a row here. When you spin the input shaft, it looks like everything is spinning together. However, if you just spin the output shaft, you'll notice only the synchronizer assemblies are spinning. These two assemblies right here are splined to the output shaft. Everything else spins with the input shaft. Depends on what these two units couple to for power to be transmitted to this output shaft. As you're going through the gears, you shift the car into first gear with the shifter. You'll see the lever move. On the inside of the transmission, what happens is the rear synchronizer assembly shifts into first gear. So now, I can't spin the output shaft without spinning the whole assembly. This shaft is coupled to the motor through this gear right here. So power flow would be coming in the input shaft gear set, which is coupled to the counter shaft. Counter shaft spins all the time. However, the only gear coupled to the output shaft would be first gear, the largest gear in the back. That's power flow in first gear, straight in, straight out. So when you shift the shift lever down into second gear, you'll notice the shift rod goes the opposite way. What happens there is we go back through neutral to second gear. So same, same. I turn the input shaft. The output shaft is coupled to the input shaft through second gear. So now the power flow comes in the input shaft to the counter shaft the only gear coupled to the output shaft right now through the synchro is second gear. So there's second. Now you want to grab third. And you're wondering, this is the 3-4 synchro, how do I move it into third gear, but also move it out of second gear? So that all happens right here. This mechanism right here prevents the car from being in two gears at once. So if you ever take these apart, make sure you do not lose those detent balls. Catastrophic failure. So, as you shift the shift lever into third gear, you're uncoupling from second, and coupling into third. So now, power flow would be coming in the input shaft, going to the counter shaft, coming right here, third gear. You can see the gears get progressively smaller as the ratio uh, decreases. So now you're in third gear cruising along. Now you want to uh, shift into your final drive gear, fourth gear. I don't know if you, you can see in here, but there's no fourth gear. There's only first, second, third. We haven't talked about reverse yet. Fourth gear is the coupling of the transmission's input shaft to the output shaft through the, the uh, fourth gear synchro right here. So you'll shift into fourth gear now you're locked one to one power transmits straight through the transmission power flow is not utilizing the counter shaft at all and then obviously back to neutral 
So now you want to go into reverse, right? Reverse shift lever connects here, putting the shifter over into reverse. Slides this counter shaft back. Simultaneously engages the straight cut gear on the outside of the one two synchro. You'll notice there's no synchronization here. You'll also notice this switch right here. This lever depresses that detent, turns on your backup lights. All happening right here. And neutral again. So now I hope you have a little bit better understanding of what happens inside the manual transmission when you shift it. Um, very simple, actually. Uh, kind of overwhelming to look at, but, but pretty simple. Now let's go test our theory.